Can you solve this problem? Please pause this video and try this problem. In case if you get the answer within 2 minutes, very good. Otherwise, this is the solution for this problem. You observe what is the given question. Limit x approaches to infinity sin of square root of x plus 1 minus sin root x. You can observe here this is of the form sin c minus sin d. What is the formula for sin c minus sin d? The formula is 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d divided by 2. You apply this formula to this. Limit x approaches to infinity. You apply sin c minus sin d formula. Then it is 2 cos c plus d by 2. That is root over x plus 1 plus root x divided by 2 into sin c minus d by 2. That is root over x plus 1 minus root x divided by 2. Here one point you need to know. x approaches to infinity means x value is not infinity. x value is very very nearer to infinity but not infinity. You know that x approaches to 2 means x value is slightly less than 2 or slightly greater than 2 but not 2. Here x approaches to infinity means x value is very very nearer to infinity but not infinity. Okay, that means here what you need to observe this is very larger value. We don't know what is its value. When you substitute x value infinity in this you don't get any idea how to proceed further. So what I'll do I'll simplify this part. I'll rationalize the numerator. Let's see how to simplify this further. I'll write this part as it is. Now I'll rationalize the numerator. Then what you will get? You observe I am just rationalizing the numerator. You multiply numerator denominator with root over x plus 1 plus root x. Again this part I written as it is. If you simplify this what you will get sine of you multiply these two it is of the form a plus b into a minus b. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So what you will get here you will get x plus 1 minus x. This plus x minus x will get cancelled. So in the numerator you will get 1 divided by 2 into in the denominator what you will get you will get root over x plus 1 plus root x. Now I will substitute this x value in this function. Substitute what you will get limit x approaches to infinity 2 into in place of x we will put infinity. Here x approaches to infinity means x value is not infinity. x value is very nearer to infinity. This we learn in the concept of limit. right? So what you will get x value is very larger value here. x is not infinity. x value is very larger value. So when you substitute in this some very very larger value plus very larger value. What you will get? This is like infinity. Not infinity. Very larger value you will get. Cause of. Cause of some larger number that we do not know. This is not cause infinity, cause of some value which is very larger. Okay. Into you observe here sin of 1 divided by 2 times of in place of x you write this infinity. Infinity means very very larger value. When you substitute in this what you will get this is also very larger value. Right? 2 into some larger value again you will get a larger value. This is little bit logic involved you please try to understand. What point you need to know? x approaches to infinity means x value is very nearer to this but x is not infinity. Okay? You observe 2 into cause of some larger value. We know that for any real x cause value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. Here this value is not infinity very very larger value. We know that cause of this value lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. It is a finite quantity and you, you look here 1 divided by very very larger number. Suppose 1 divided by I will write some numbers like this. What is its value? Its value is 0 0.0000 like that you will get. That means this value is very very nearer to 0. So I will write it as sin 0. What is sin 0? Sin 0 is 0. So what you will get here you will get 2 into some finite quantity into sin 0 is 0. 
so what you will get you will get zero so what is the answer for this problem answer for this problem is zero so third option is the correct option for this problem i hope you understand this